Las Vegas has always had a reputation of nothing more than glitz, glimmer, lights, fun, games, and nothing else. What I'm here to tell you today is that we're a lot more than that. We are very committed and passionate about it in sustainability efforts. My job as a fleet manager is to manage a fleet of about 1,400 units of both on and off road vehicles, the bulk of which runs on diesel, uh, on diesel engines fueled by biodiesel fuel. Two aspects or parts of a fleet manager's job that might surprise some people. One is fleet management, which means that you, just, you have a budget that you, you control, that people depend upon you to make those decisions and choices about equipment and the fuels that go in it. But another part of the job, in my opinion, is that there is a policy aspect associated with that responsibility as well. And that is where your influence, your experience, and your passion come into play all at once. One of the biggest problems that we have today is there is some kind of a separation between fleet management and policy decision. Over the years, over the last several years, it's been a challenge to stay the course because, of course, as a fleet manager representing taxpayers, as I do with the city of Las Vegas, cost, how much something costs, is very much in the news and very much a worry. So we had to demonstrate conclusively a cost-benefit relationship that showed that it was worth that investment. And that's what I call it, an investment, not an expense. What the benefit offset is, is our maintenance costs go down. And why? Because biodiesel burns cleaner. But what I found out in my own experience is what one person can do if you are committed and have a passion and a belief in an end result that is achievable based upon your efforts. And you get a product or something that is something that really excites you like biodiesel to make that kind of difference. You gotta feel like a champion when things get rough. No matter what it is in a habit, people resist it. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna challenge your resolve. They're gonna find out what your level of commitment is or isn't. And if you're wavering, then there is no way you're gonna have a product or service, whatever it is, going to be successful. That is exactly what I had to deal with for 17 years. Today, nobody questions my resolve. Seek out your local Clean Cities Coalition. There are 90 of them coast to coast. Those people embrace it, and virtually every single one of them have passion about it, just like I do. You will find enormous support from people that you will probably surprise you in the organization that you are currently working with. If you just demonstrate a commitment and a passion for what it is that you believe in, you will find a lot of followers.